Hello everybody, I'm Tamosi and welcome to Sammy's channel. You guys asked Sammy to make a tutorial about how you put those performance statistics on your gameplay videos. To begin with, this is the website you're gonna have to go and download MSI Afterburner. To the downloads tab and right over here, that's the right program. Then secondly, you're gonna have to go and download HW Info. It's the easiest way for you to just go for the 32-bit. And then thirdly and lastly, you're gonna have to go and download Rebatuner Statistics Server. That's the last one you're gonna have to download. Now that we have set up MSI Afterburner, let's go and configure that. Double click it and click yes in if you have the user account control thing going on. Let's go straight to the settings tab in the bottom right corner. That'll give you this window over here, MSI Afterburner Properties. Let's go straight to the on-screen display tab. In there you're gonna have to check off show on screen display on captured screenshots and videos. Leave this checked and let's go to the video capture tab. That's where you can see what button you're gonna use to record this video. Now let's say you have downloaded and installed HW Info program. Let's press yes on this user account control. And you will get this window over here. Do not check off the sensors only or summary only. Leave that unchecked and go straight to run. Now that we have run HW Info, you will get these three windows. Go straight to this bigger window over here and find sensors monitoring. This yellow icon over here. Click that and let it load. Now that we have loaded the sensors in HW Info, let's put that aside for now and go straight to RevaTuner Statistics Server. Let's press yes on that user account control. Here we got RevaTuner Statistics Server. Now, what you do with RevaTuner Statistics Server is that you customize the look of the text that shows on your gameplay. That is the performance statistics. At first, you're gonna have to go and press on in this show on screen display. Leave that on. The start with windows is completely up to you. If you see this slider over here, this is where you can make the display bigger on your gameplay video. Let's see an example of that. Let's make it a little bit in the bigger side and uh, let's put on this shadow, on-screen display shadow. Let's put that on and go to the on-screen display also and change the color to yellow, like Sammy usually has it. And now let's check on the gameplay. As you can see, I have this Rocket League game going on here and I have some statistics in there. But I only have virtual memory committed and total CPU usage. Let's add some in there. Let's come back to HW Info. We've got this window opened over here after we run those sensors. In this window, you're gonna go down to the bottom right and click this configure sensors over here. Then we get this sensor settings window. At first, let's look at this scan interval over here. If this says anything other than 2000 milliseconds, you want to change it to 2000 milliseconds because that's what refreshes the numbers in two seconds interval. After we have done that, let's go to OSD over here. This is where you customize which numbers you want to show on your gameplay. As you can see, I have virtual memory committed on yes over here. Now let's add a little to this gameplay stats all right let's put all of the cores all of the core statistics into the gameplay video we're gonna have to click it like this and then go to show value in OSD and show label in OSD
as you can see you've got all the cores which I just selected in the display but wait we have a little problem going on here it's all in the same line up here and you can't see it all let's fix that we'll go back into the configure sensors on the sensor status window and open OSD tab again over here as we know the virtual com memory committed and total CPU usage were in the top two lines let's go and put all of these statistics in their own line let's go to core 0 and put it to line 3 it's in the position over here let's keep going and put all the cores in their own line now that I've put all the statistics on their own line let's go and check out the gameplay here we go we have all the statistics in their own line as you can see over here virtual com memory committed total CPU usage and all the cores in their own line let's say you want to change the name of the virtual memory committed process then we'll have to go to the custom tab in the sensor settings on HW info click virtual memory committed and go to this label section down below over here you'll see the original name and current name let's change current name to RAM and then we click rename and then we go to OK let's go and check out the gameplay and see if it has changed now that we have seen the top name over here which was virtual memory committed and it's been changed to RAM how about that this concludes the end of the tutorial thank you guys for watching if you have any questions put them in the comments below if you like this video then you know what to do if you dislike this video it'll be really helpful if you put in a comment what exactly you disliked thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one